This tutorial is focused on different measurement functions in the slice view. Open the image PK2 cell. Click on the button Slice to open the image in the Slice view. The Slice view shows a 2D view of the image. It shows all images in the dataset along the z-axis, starting from the top. On the left-hand side of the screen is the Slice toolbar. To select and examine any slice along the z-axis, drag the slider handle up or down. The respective slice number is displayed on the bottom of the slider in the Number field. By using the play button, a continuous display through all the slices in the stack is available. The number of the desired slice can also be entered in the number field at the bottom of the slider. The measurement feature in Slice View is used when you don't need to save measurements but rather to determine quickly the best parameter and filter settings. There are two types of interactive measurement. Depending on what you want to measure, you can either choose line or polygon. To measure the diameter of kinetochores, we will choose the measurement type line. Just left click on the first point and the point is set. Then left click on the second point. The two points are connected with a line. This line length, the kinetochore's diameter, is displayed in the Distance field. Click on Delete to clear the Distance field and you can start a new measurement. Once more, you can set a new measurement with two consecutive clicks. To measure the perimeter of blue stain DNA, choose the measurement type Polygon. Switching to Polygon mode allows you to connect more than two points. Click on the first point and continue clicking. Lines consecutively connect all measurement points and the distance is presented as a total sum of all the distances measured as you go along. With each new click, the sum of all distances is updated. Draw a polygon around. The result displays in the Distance field. Another way to estimate distances in the image is to use the grid display. Select the option Grid and grid spacing is overlaid on the image. Click on the end of the grid line to adjust the grid. You can alter the length, width, location and font size of the interactive scale bar. All changes are instantly displayed in the viewing area. When zooming in or out of the image, the grid is automatically updated. Left click on the scale bar and by holding the button drag it to a new chosen location. Imaris Slice View offers the possibility of simple 3D measurements. As an illustration we will measure the length of microtubules between different slices. Start by unselecting the grid option. To focus solely on microtubules, open the display adjustment window. Turn off the red and blue channels by unchecking them. In the viewing area, only the green channel is now displayed. Set the first point by left-clicking. Change to the next slice number 
and set the next measurement point with consecutive clicks. Then follow the same procedure for the next slices in turn. In this way, you can trail the microtubules through the slices and measure their 3D structure. The dashed line indicates connections between two slices. The distance between the first and the last measurement point is displayed in the status field Distance on the right hand side of the screen. Open the Display Adjustment window and turn the red and blue channels back on. In this tutorial, very basic types of measurements were presented, which allow one measurement at a time. More measurement options are available in the Imaris Measurement Pro module. Measurement Pro enables the calculation and display of various outputs from both voxel data and segmented objects. It facilitates interactive 3D filtering, sorting, classifying and grouping objects based on measurements. To find out more about Imaris additional features, please consult our next video tutorial. Thank you for your attention.